It's the first week of the NFL playoffs. Adrian Peterson of the Vikings is single-handedly taking his team to the playoffs. All sorts of storylines. Jeff, let's get to it. Vikings, Packers, who do you like? I think Adrian Peterson can run for 285 yards, and they'll still lose this right. game. I think the Packers, uh, Aaron Rodgers has been playing much better. They look like the Packers of old. I think this Packers team, though, is not good enough to go much farther than this game, to be honest. They don't have a running game. They're going to get beat eventually, but not this week. I agree with you on both those points. You know, I think Christian Ponder is so bad that even if Peterson runs for 200 yards, whatever, he's going to, Ponder's going to make some mistakes or just going to cripple right, the team. Right. You know, Sam Shields and is... And Woodson's back. Right, and Sam Shields is, is a ball hawk back in the Packers secondary. He, he has a lot of interceptions. You know, he'll mm -hmm. take advantage of a guy like Ponder. And so I think that it's a done deal. Ponder will make two or three mistakes, give the Packers all the opportunities they need, and Rodgers will pounce mm -hmm. on that. Also in the NFC, we've got Seahawks and Redskins. Uh, obviously, pretty interesting matchup. Yeah, two, this is the best one. Two rookie quarterbacks. What do you think? Personally, I have the Seahawks going to the Super Bowl. This Seahawks team has been playing amazing. They're averaging over 40 points a game the last few weeks, and Russell Wilson's getting better and better. RG3 is great. We know that. I think the Redskins need another year, get those injured defenders back. Next year, they might be the Super Bowl favorites, but not this year. The Seattle team's not the team I want to face. I think the Redskins are going to win. That's I possible. think that Russell Wilson. They're at home. Russell Wilson has been incredibly inconsistent this year. Um, I believe the difference between a quarterback rating when he wins and loses is about 40. Um, and so you can get him off this game. And, and just the question is, how do you do it? Now, the Redskins' defense isn't dominant. They don't have some great scheme. Hasbutt isn't some great mastermind defensive coordinator. But I think they'll be able to just take advantage. You know, how long can this Wilson hot streak last? I don't know. The Redskins have Alfred Morris and they have uh, RG3. So I think they have more more options there. And so. What about Marshawn Lynch? I know Marshawn Lynch is better than Russell Wilson, uh, in, my, in my opinion. But I think that the Redskins will get it done, and I, th I think they win. Now, switching gears to the AFC, we've got the uh, the Texans and the Bengals. Kind of an intriguing matchup. What do you got? I think the Bengals' defense might be the most underrated defense in the league. I think that defensive line is. Unbelievable. Geno Atkins is the best player that no one's heard of or no one is talking about, that their nose tackle or defensive tackle. They'll present problems for the Texans. That being said, Arian Foster at home, J.J. Watt, they're not losing that game. You didn't go far enough in the Bengals because it's not just Geno Atkins. It's guys like Michael Johnson on the defensive line. They have an unbelievable defensive line. It reminds me of the Giants from last year who had right. three or four right. weapons. I think they lead the NFL in sacks. Um, I, I just see that that's the hot new trend if you have a D-line that really puts, uh, puts pressure on the quarterback. You have them winning. You win games. I have them winning. I have them maybe going deep into the playoffs. Maybe a championship game of playoffs. Wow. I, I'm not, I, you know, stay tuned on that, but I, I think the, okay. they're, they're very, right. very good. Colts-Ravens. I think it's an interesting game. I wouldn't dismiss the Colts um, because of the rookie quarterback. I mean, Chuck Pagano used to coach there. He knows that. It's obviously that's an a, underrated. Yeah, it's thing, obviously by the way. a worse Ravens team. This defense is not the defense it was last year, or the year before, or the year before that. And they're not going to go very far. But that being said, I mean, these Colts, they're, they're totally unproven. I, I don't see them going on the road and winning a playoff game. I agree. I mean, the Ravens are so seasoned. The Colts had some lucky breaks this year. Obviously, they've been galvanized by their um, by the extenuating circumstances right. of their right. season. But with, with Chuck Pagano having leukemia treatment and, and, all, and all the stuff that comes around with that. But I think that just when it comes down to it, the Ravens are just a better team. They're going to get Ray Lewis back. That's an emotional lift as far as right. the defense goes. Uh, he's retiring after the season. So. I just feel like the Ravens are really going to clamp down and, and put an end to the kind of the Colts uh, mm -hmm. fairy tale. It's a big week of playoff action. Enjoy the games.